Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. I'm Big B. So we're out here at the New River, Jacksonville, North Carolina. It's glass, baby. It's glass. We're going to be running the Scorpion Outrigger in this video. All right. This is a uh, 6S Outrigger that we're going to basically do a couple of speed runs and some ovals. Stick around. Big B. We're Ironclad RC. So I got the small battery in here. I'm going to do some ovals with that uh, that X450 that I cut down. <coughs> Just kind of see what it does here. My GPS is dead. It's charging. I charged it all night and it didn't take a charge. <coughs> Let's see what this does with the in the big big body of water. Unfortunately, I don't have a GPS. Going into the tide there. Got a little bit of current today. Pretty nice. Polished up the turn fin a little bit. I did a little strut adjustment. I moved the strut up just a hair so there's less uh, prop in the water. Got a little bit of positive position. So it don't want to like prop steer quite as bad. Pretty nice. This will be the last lap here. Kind of a big prop. One more, one more. This boat's freaking awesome. You can get the almost ready to run for about a thousand dollars. The ready to run, it's a little bit more, of course. I got the almost ready to run and it was freaking assembled when I got it. All I had to do was put a rudder and the turn fin on it's got a huge battery compartment. It's it's pretty much the Oxy Digger, just a carbon fiber ver version of it. You know, the Oxy Digger is a wood kit. This one's all carbon fiber, of course. Oh, it looks freaking awesome. In the sunlight, the silver, it, it looks holographic, you know? It's freaking pretty. It's a pretty boat. It really is. All right, that was a pretty good little zip. All right, having some issues with that rim through tape. It's not wanting to stay stuck down. Yeah, see it peeling up right there? I didn't want to keep it in the water too long. Got 10 rolls of that tape and it kind of sucks. The Amazon tape seemed to be better. When it sticks, it sticks, but if it gets any moisture on it, or you got moisture on the boat when you when you put it down, it's kinda kinda don't want to do its job. Let's see if we got any water in here. Oh, not a drop of water. Come on. So I'm actually running the uh, 5300 on this run, and then we're gonna put the 6300 in. I wanted, to do, I wanted to do a couple speed passes, or, or at least GPS my speed, but my GPS is dead. And I charged it all night. It's not wanting to take a charge. So I just put some dielectric grease on the, on the connector and plugged it in in the truck there. Hopefully, hopefully it'll take a charge. Um, it comes with an EC8. I just, I, just, uh, I just peeled that EC8 connector off and basically plug these right into my qs8 i'll probably keep it like that to be honest with you um 
make me a little jumper. I mentioned that in my last video. So this is a little bit heavier battery. We'll see what it does here. I just use a piece of foam for my uh, my battery there. Kind of keep it in place. All right, I'm gonna get her taped up. Stretched out this morning. Yes, sir. You know it. Kind of messed around with my steering rate a little bit and same prop <clears throat> i kind of like that prop on here it does all right uh, i got 71 at the park pond so we're basically doing 70 mile per hour over you know let's get us a little pass in see what she looks like with this big batter yeah that's pretty that's pretty That's pretty. Open the prop steer a little bit. Nice. Nice. It likes that bigger battery, the weight of it. <laughs> I got on it real hard, boy. She just fishtailed out. We'll get us some collars for the boom tube so we can offset the tub a little bit. We'll be in business, baby. Eating, boy. That was a almost a full trigger rip I think our next run out we're going we're going to change the fin put a the oxy digger fin on it's got a little bit nicer curve on it I got a little power cut there when I got on it real hard yeah it does it's about 70 mile an hour right there Almost lost it. <laughs> Rooster tail looks pretty on it. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty. She's eating, boy. Eat, eat, scorpion. Full trigger. Oh. All right, that's our battery. She's got a cut. Man, that was nice. <laughs> Exhilarating. Woo, doggy. Start your day off on the good foot. Come on. Great. Googly moogly. <laughs> yeah, man. That's a, a scorpion outrigger. Woo, doggy. Man, that was nice. Let's check the temps after that hard run there. And we'll get a battery voltage because it did cut. I want to see. It felt like a battery cut, not a power cut. Okay, let's check for water. Rooster tail on yeah, there. it did, man. Yeah, it did. You could almost see the rooster tail, like the spin of the prop, the water pushing off the prop, you know? Freaking yeah. pretty. Pretty. All right, 140 is the highest temp I've had on here. 133, 152 now. All right, we were pushing it with that 6200. Let's go, motor. Eighty-five, eighty-eight. 
<laughs> Motor likes it. All right, any water in here? Not a drop of water. Let's go, boy. All right. You too, bro. <laughs> that was a freaking blast boy not even kidding so yesterday uh well in the previous video of this boat in the park pond we were we ran the same packs the light pack and the heavy pack um in the park pond with the lighter pack it felt like it was a little more predictable in, in those tighter corners you know uh today the heavier pack felt a little more predictable wider swept out turn and it felt more predictable uh same prop we ran you know and basically the tune was kind of the same uh that that prop there did pretty good i would say 70 to 80 mile per hour uh with that second battery the first battery would probably do in about 70 so yeah yeah that was fun that was fun that rooster tail was something else uh we'll see you guys next time thanks for watching Link in the description for the boat.